factor. Okay. So here we are talking only about the financial part. So in Oracle, we have this Oracle platform is very bigger platform in terms of uh, range wise, in terms of wider wise, it has an HCM, it has a CM, human capital management, supply chain management, and as well as financial. So we have a lot more things. But our major area is to discuss only about the financial part. So what involves in the financial part and what we are going to teach on a daily basis and everything, we're going to see step by step. Okay, fine. So let's talk about the Oracle full form. So most of the people already know about the Oracle. Those people who doesn't know the Oracle, those people also I will be focusing on that. So the Oracle full form is Oak Ridge Automatic Computation Logical Engine. Okay, the full form is Oak Ridge Automatic Computation Logical Engine. So why they have chosen this name is something like Oak Ridge is the place where they have developed this software. Okay, uh, in US there is a place called Oak Ridge and uh, the two in a place called Garage, like uh, in a car parking area, they have developed this kind of software and they don't want to forget the name and everything. So that's the place uh, they want to keep it in front of it and uh, they have started like this Oak Ridge Automatic Computation Logical Engine. Okay, that's the full form of an article. Next. What are the products available in the market at the minute and uh, what are the booming market right, right uh, in the market? So we have Oracle e Business, so JD Edwards, C-Bell, PeopleSoft, SAP, these are the very good products. Why we are talking about only about these products? We have so many products, right? Why we are talking only about these products is these products are like uh, wherever you go, you will get an opportunity. If you go to US, yes, you will get an opportunity. If you go to UK, yes, you will get it. You go to Australia, yes, there is a platform for you. And if you go to anywhere uh, 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 throughout the country, wherever you go, you will be some of the people, some of the clients, and everyone will be using these are the products. And out of these products, why we are only focusing on the Oracle is because Oracle has started this technology called as a cloud, and uh, they are uh, uh, scaling up easily. And moreover, their main focus is to attract more the middle level management, middle. <clears throat> they are uh, trying to attract more startup companies. They are trying to start more uh, uh, you know, taking care about all the bigger companies, startup companies, middle size, mid size segment companies, all type of segment companies. This article has started, uh, you know, uh, mainly focusing on those things, and uh, they are delivering as per their needs and requirements. You might be asking, like, uh, yeah, why not SAP means? Yes, SAP is also a good product, but when you compare with an SAP, it's still in the learning phase of Oracle Cloud, which is still in the learning phase of Cloud. But Oracle has already started and it has already implemented and it has a very good customer base and everything. So, for an example, if you go to Internet and Nokri or something like that, just type Oracle Fusion Consultant or something like that and click on Enter Nokri, you will see a lot of opportunities available all the time. So maybe like a two or three months because of the vacation season, the sometimes the opportunities will be less, but you will be seeing the entire year, you will be all the time, you will be seeing a lot of opportunities for the Oracle part. Okay. See, <clears throat> now when it, sorry, one second. <clears throat> one second. Yeah. See, uh, in Oracle, this is the latest ERP production requires. Okay, these are the latest production requires. What are the things it has been acquired? The PeopleSoft it acquired, JD Edwards it's acquired, Zbell. See, over a period of time, see, as far as the Oracle is scaling up and growing themselves, what they have done, they started acquiring these companies. How they acquired these companies? Like it is acquiring the HRMS, like the PeopleSoft. PeopleSoft is very good in HRMS. It acquired PeopleSoft company. And JD Edwards is very good in procurement and as well as financially it acquired that. Siebel is very good in CRM and customer report management, customer resource management. It acquired that. Hyperion is very good in reporting. It acquired that. E-business, it is very good in financials. It acquired that. So out of all these acquisitions, what had happened, it, uh, it, it, uh, it started thinking about why not we go for a cloud and that is the best place. Uh, uh, it started with the best of all the breeds and it started with a fusion year to cloud. So more or less, you might be seeing all these things like uh, Hyperion, it is very useful for your reporting in the cloud again. And uh, you will be seeing some of the, uh, some of the terms and terminologies, what you have used for the people, so you will be seeing that. Some of the terminologies you will be seeing in the JD Edwards, whatever the terminology they use, they, you will be seeing some of things in the cloud, okay, like that. <clears throat> 
you will be seeing look and somewhere you will be seeing those kind of terminologies when you are doing all the day to day process activities okay now so we'll discuss about on premises and as well as cloud deployment what is meant by on premises and cloud deployment see on premises means something like you are purchasing your server okay server will be costing some lakhs of rupees right so crores of rupees you will be investing on maintaining the server you have to give a bigger room you have to give a data connection lan connections network and everything all things uh, which is involved for the server so if you are purchasing a server installing into your administration office that is called as an on premises okay so what is meant by cloud service cloud servers are nothing but which is you don't need to purchase anything at all you just need to pay the rent and utilize your services something like that okay but everything control is in your hand but the server is maintained into the uh, third party that is called as uh, oracle oracle will maintain all this, uh, the server part and that company will take care about all the headache activities you will be enjoying the benefits by paying the minimum subscription or whatever the subscription amounts based on your license options you just pay the license amount and you enjoy the benefits whatever you will get it okay that's it you, they will give you username and password from there you can start off your activities that's how about the cloud server part so let's see the what are the advantages disadvantages and how it works and everything so on premises when we're talking about on premises you can see here as capex capex is nothing but capital expenditure you will be install you will be installing the um, uh, a server purchasing the server and everything right you have to purchase that you have to place it and you have to maintain something that is called capital expenditure you are you are putting a lot of amount on the capital expenditure and again you can see customer owned upgrades and patching so once you purchase the servers it's not like that is again every year if the company is uh, releasing a new releases or new updates what you are supposed to do you are the supposed to uh, upgrade yourself on your own system and everything <clears throat> and you will be installing some data centers hardware cost instruction disaster recovery all the things like data recovery data centers also you have to put it for recovery part and everything annual support cost is very high and uh, retention of own it subcontracts are required staff is required See, if you are putting a server means there is a minimum staff is required right to maintain the server so uh, on a for an example imagine you are uh, now you are accessing an irpc railway something you are planning to book a ticket on a sudden the server is down how how you will feel you feel a lot of incomfort right you again you go back to the railway department there also uh, it won't work because the server is completely down so how much loss it will happen okay how much loss and how much of inconvenience will happen so to make sure the server is all the time active you have to keep a good amount of staff all the time to maintain the server okay that's it so again you will see like outdated software resulting in missed business benefits for an example there are certain uh, certain times you might be uh, outdated software so uh, you have to be keep on changing the software upgrade your software so what will happen if you don't upgrade the software what will happen security breaches will happen and uh, uh, they might uh, hack your system and they you know steal the you know, they might steal the files something like that they, you know, they which leads to lot of uh, loss to the company organization so all the time we have to keep on updating ourselves on the software part in terms of server part otherwise what will happen uh, there will be misleading of chances data misleading of uh, security you might violate okay like that. that's about the on premises part now let's see about the cloud application so here in the cloud application you don't need to worry at all you just rent a flexible service pay as you go you just need to make the payment automatically what will do they will give you the access and you can start working on that particular access as far as uh, you, know, you are uh, paying the subscription to them and uh, you don't need to hire and worry a uh, good amount of it people you just need to hire and the business analyst is sufficient for that to maintain that okay if at all you are uh, facing any issue or any challenges in terms of the application what you have to do you have to raise a ticket and just sit and relax automatically those people will take care of it and they will come back and they will repair back to you with a solution part okay and uh, here you can see no upgrades but latest functionality via regular releases so this fusion they agreed every release uh, every release is a free of cost for you okay so today uh, you have a release that in tomorrow or day after tomorrow you will be getting release for fusion you need not pay any amount 
and directly they will upgrade your application with the latest release. There is a protocol which you have to follow for upgrading the self. Once you follow that, it's a free of cost for you. It, you can easily upskill your uh, uh, server. Okay. Any questions, guys, so far? Hi everyone, can you please share your contact details to us? Guruji, Prashant, your email and contact number to reach you. Yeah, uh, guys, please share your email address and as well as contact number so the team will provide you the uh, any kind of sharing, like if we want to share any kind of PPT or anything which we can able to easily access with that. Okay, please share those things. You can message in the chat. Okay. Fine. Let's move on. One second. Yeah. So when you talk about the releases part, this is the releases which would happen, like beta reversion, and they have started with 11.1.2 and 11.1.3, 11.1.4, like that it has started the releases. Now currently we are in the release 13. The latest version is release 13, and in the release 13 there is another called 18B or 18C, something like that we will be having. So you will see all those things while we are working on the application part. I will show you clearly and which release we are working and uh, what are the latest updates on this and what is missing in the previous releases and what we are what it has been upgraded to the next release something like that we will discuss everything in our day-to-day -day sessions okay next in cloud services we have total sas pass and iss what about in the sas pass and iss what are those things so you can see here uh See, SaaS is nothing but software as a service. In this software as a service, we don't have any customizations. Only reports are possible and free upgrades. We can see here, no customizations, reports are possible. Whatever the reports you are expecting, you can see all kind of reports as possible in the SaaS model. And you have a free upgrades as well. You may need not worry. Uh, once you entitle to this particular SaaS, SaaS platform, uh, today we are release 13 and tomorrow if we are maybe not tomorrow maybe a couple of years or something like that if you are into the release the 14 or something like that you need not worry at all automatically uh, the third party client the oracle will inform you so boss we have a release 14 hours available if you want me to upgrade we are ready to upgrade you let give us a confirmation like that they will ask automatically they will do it. okay next so PSS is nothing but platform as a service. In PSS platform, we have customizations are possible. Okay, auto creation is not possible. Hence, we have a customization. For an example, I will explain you. So, yeah, yeah any questions, guys? Someone is. Yeah. Uh, I think a new candidate Jamal is joined. Just Jamal, can you please mute yourself? Or I will come back to you later. Point of time. Please mute yourself. Okay, for an example, what I mean about the customization, I will just give you in a nutshell. So imagine, uh, let me go on format. Others also, can you please share your details, please? Others also. So sorry about my drawing skills. Okay, I'm just uh, for your explanation. I'm giving. Okay, in, imagine. Rish, Gurujit, can you please share your details, please? Yeah, guys, can you please share it so that we can know? Okay. Fine. So, for an example, I'm talking about the customization. For an example, this is an invoice copy. What are the things will be coming under the invoice copy? You will be seeing the some serial number here, and here is the particulars, and here is the about the amount part, right? Like this, it will be there, right? For example, here is the serial number will be there, particulars and amount will be there. On top, you can see a company name, something like that, XYZ, something like that. Okay, this is the normal format invoice copy. But what if you want as per the invoice copy, this is how it looks like. 
this is the standard uh, as per the application front but you are expecting something beyond this so what you are expecting in the file format or something like that you are expecting something like uh, you need the bank details also on the bottom of it means a bank instruction should be there like how you can make a payment based on this particular invoice instead of this particular serial number particular and amount you want an additional column something which will describe about the quantity how much of quantity is coming something like that anything which is uh, added to a seeded functionality that is called a customization so those customizations which we will be explain uh, those things will be coming under this particular sas model okay yeah, and pass model and this particular pss model okay that's the reason you will be seeing you will be seeing the customizations possible auto upgradation is not possible why auto upgradation is not possible because if once you do the customization if they don't inform you and they the update upgraded to your to the next level what will happen you will lose the context of whatever you have designed and everything so that is the reason auto upgradation is not possible for pss model so here you can see infrastructure as a service and here the customization database security will be taken care by the oracle so these are all the things will be having in iiss platform so iiss means infrastructure as a service for an example there are uh, there is a uh, you know in some of the organizations in some organizations what they need a software they need different manner means uh, which is very very costliest for Uh, which you cannot buy on your own, and you cannot put it in on premises. So what you can do, you can approach this Oracle guys. Oracle will give you that kind of infrastructure facility, whatever it is required. They will provide for you, and uh, they will take care about all those things. That is called as an infrastructure as a in service, and you have to pay those for for the subscription and everything. And you can see what are the things available here. <coughs> So this is about the SaaS platform. You can see middleware, application, database, operating system, virtualization, and server storage. All these things is a complete solution and a complete choice for the SaaS model. So what are all the things available in SaaS for analysis? So this complete application is managed by the vendor. Okay. So here you can see these two application and as database the data you will be managing and remaining things will be managed by the vendor. and here you can see virtualization server storage networking will be managed by the vendor and these are all things will be managed by the okay like that so most of the people will be going into the saas model and our day to day sessions are also will be on the saas model only why because it's a free upgrade so you have to compromise a little bit on the application front like uh, whatever it is available in the seeded functionality you have to accept the fact and you will be taking care about that and then you will be having a full upgrade and everything all facilities are a lot more facilities on the saas model because everything managed by the vendor okay that's the reason most of the people are going for saas at the same time people will go for paas and iss also let's see how what are the companies are being listed here. so so the, you can see a list of companies which are already installed and successful in this particular uh, saas model paas and iss you can see it something like the representation here you can see google it and the and the oracle and you can see something like vendor okay couple of companies are already opted with paas model and couple of companies are opted with iss model okay you can see this it just a uh, representation and just showing you if you check in google you will see more and more okay <clears throat> so what are the cloud offerings what are the things available from the cloud you can see here financial management human capital management supply chain management project pro, uh, portfolio management procurement customer relationship all these things are there out of all these offerings we are focusing on financial management that is general ledger accounts payable asset management payment and collection accounts receivable and all these things which we want to focus on all these things okay let's move on yeah so we have a technical resources scope in the fusion do we have a technical resources honestly speaking the technical resources scope is very very less in the fusion application so that's the reason if you see in the market also most of the technical people who so ever working on the article technical people are also learning the functionality and that upselling themselves and moving into a functional roles why because 
the because a functional consultant can able to design the reports and uh, you know you want to see all those things we will be designing the reports and we will be creating all the uh, tables and everything we, we are doing the conversions we going to do everything plan everything whatever uh, a kind technical processes are doing so that's the reason most of the technical people also moving into functional roles and um, i'm not saying that 100% technicality is not required but a little bit initial stages at the time of implementation we might need to help because they are more skill and uh, they know the uh, they already experienced a lot in the technicality side that's the reason uh, we might need them help in the initial stages once we are in the comfort zone we don't need the technical resources help okay that in which you have to remember <clears throat> So here it's about the enterprise structure. How does the enterprise structure looks like in the e-business art world? We call this as a business group. In the top most, we can this is called as a multi-organization structure. They call that as in the e-business art world. And here, in terms of enterprise, they will be using this business group and division. We don't have the division in e-business art world. In primary ledger, legal entity remains the same. And uh, in fusion, we call this as a business unit. In e-business art world, we call that as an operating unit. Okay. and uh, in fusion we call this as a distribution center in in e business apple we call that as an inventor okay and item master organization and here this is called as an sub inventor something like that we will be calling so don't worry at this point of time just to see the graphical representation we will just explain them separate uh, guys can you please mute yeah gurjit okay. do you have any questions jamal can you yes hi yeah um uh i just wanted to know that will you go in little bit more detail uh, in future sessions about pairs and says and is le uh, levels all those things layers uh, will you tell more about it or yeah uh, see basically we are uh, focusing on the financial part okay so definitely we whatever the uh, whatever you are expecting we will discuss that but this is only a demo part so that is the reason we are not focusing much on that So we will be discussing more on day-to-day -day session like general ledger, accounts payable, asset management, payment and collection, accounts receivable, cash management, KPIs and so forth. These are the things our major area. Okay, and if you are talking about SaaS model, PaaS model, and ISS model, you will know uh, we can able to give you some basic information what is happening in the SaaS, what is happening in the ISS, and from where you can get more information. Something like that information we can share. but uh, in terms of instance access and in terms of uh, uh, detail level what kind of customization and everything it's not possible okay, okay no problem thank you we don't have that much time to discuss also <laughs> because we end up in uh, 60 days and that 60 days we take so much of time in discussing all these things we have around 200 and odd topics so we show you that excel sheet also okay yes, yes. sure thank okay. you yeah jamal can you please mute yourself i could see some noise is coming Sorry to interrupt, sir. Yeah. Ah, uh, sir, Jamil and Krish, can you please share your details, contact, and mail ID? Yeah, guys, can you please share those things? It's very important. Yeah, okay, thank you, sir. But I have not got any details. Okay. Let's see. Okay. This is about the key product of futures. Uh, so we're gonna see discuss this a little bit later point of time, like uh, about initial configuration, reference data sharing, and all these things. We will see that in our day to day session. So everything. So these are the key product of futures, and we're gonna discuss everything in our day to day sessions. Step by step, we will scale up. Okay. Fine. Next one. Uh, this is also about the key product of futures about the ledger. How does the primary ledger assigning the legal entities, ledger options, and everything? I think we will see in our daily sessions. Don't worry about that <clears throat> because it requires so much of uh, uh, information which we have to share. Okay, so here you can see integration uh, which is happen. <clears throat> integration of Hyperion as well as in GL posting. So here, if you observe uh, all the data. Okay, in e-business art well, what happened? Every data, all the data which is uh, uh, which is stored in the application, 
is in the form of table format, right? In the table format, it will store. And if you write uh, an SQL query, like uh, select a star from AP invoices, you might be seeing those queries, right? So the minute you type those things, you will be able to see a lot of things. But now, here, uh, the data is stored in the form of cube format. So you need not worry at all about the data. You just need to drag and drop it. Okay, like the, the one which you do in the pivots in Excel sheet, uh, there is a predefined uh, subject areas. So you have to go to that subject areas and you just drag and drop it. Guys, can you please mute everyone? I could hear a lot of noise. Jamal, hello. Yeah, hi, how are you? Uh, yeah, uh, G. Srini. Uh, hi, Srini. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, uh, can you please mute yourself? Uh, can you please share your contact details and as well as email address as well? Yes, yes, yes. I, I think your company has it already. Oh, fine. Uh, uh, Papma, can you please mute everyone? I could hear a lot of noise. Where do you want me to send it? Yeah, yeah, it could be better. You can just type it in the chat. That's it. Okay, I'll send it to you. Okay. Yeah, yeah please mute yourself. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. So the data, what is stored in the Excel sheet, uh, like in the pivot table, you just need to drag and drop it, right? In the same manner, here also the data, whatever the data is stored in the subject areas from the particular subject areas, you just need to drag and drop it. Automatically, you will get the data. You will get the report. Within split seconds, you can see a boardroom report also. It will be ready, ready made reports for also possible. Those things also we will be discussing. So here you can see role-based dashboards based on the roles, whatever the roles you, it is assigned to you based on the roles, you can see your dashboard solution part. And you can see here OTBI reporting also. <coughs> OTBI is nothing but uh, Oracle Transaction Business Intelligence Report. You can see a graphical representation and as well as the data here. And you want an Excel sheet or uh, table should be on the front side and the data should be the uh, graph should be on the left side and the table should be on the right side. Yes, it is possible. And you want to see the table should be on the top and the graph should be on the bottom. Yes, that is also possible. All the possible manners in terms of reporting. Okay. So usually in our uh, old index, what we usually do, we usually write a query like this. We usually start with uh, select star from AP invoices all where invoice number is so and so something like that we usually query right there right or we will usually just put select a star from ap invoice as all you will just use the semicolon and just enter automatically you just fire this query automatically it will pull out the complete table information what you usually do you will extract everything into an excel sheet from that particular Excel sheet, we will be doing some pivot tables and uh, after the, after downloading into the Excel sheet, CSV file, you will be converting into Excel file and again you will be uh, doing all kind of exercises, right, in terms of filtering part and everything. But you don't need to do all those things. The report only this application itself will take care of all the headache work and uh, you just need to directly uh, upload this into a PPT or a PDF copy or XML file and everything will be shared in straight away you can save that file and you can send it across to any number like that okay now so here you can see financial reporting that's one I was talking about you can see a table on the top and the graph should be bottom or you want a pie diagram anything everything is possible everything is possible in terms of fusion application okay so don't worry at the minute about this particular terminology. So we have offerings, options, and as well as features. Don't worry about uh, those terminology parts. Um, on a daily basis, I will be teaching you what is meant by offering, what is meant by option, what is meant by features. All these things we will be discussing in the day-to-day -day sessions. Okay. So this is about all the features, offerings, functional areas, options, features, and so This is a financial is an offering. And in this functional of financial offering, Expenses is a functional area, and again in this functional area, you have a corporate card with expenses is an option, and again corporate card with a business role is a feature. Just a um, sample example, just try to understand and uh, you know see this example part. In our regular sessions, we will go in deep dive on that. Okay. So this is how the screen looks like. Uh, this is how about the vision instance looks like. So this is your vision instance, and uh, this is the user ID. 
and uh, this is the home button and you can see here these are all springboard icons and uh, this is the taskbar search criteria and uh, star favorite let me go here yeah. yeah. so you can see here this is a global area infolet area panels and all these things this is called as a task panel section area something like that okay all these things we'll see in our data discussions and uh, this is about favorite button if you want to see the screens regular basis uh, well, you are using regular time then you can add into favorite is the flag notifications accessibility help button all these things and these are all springboard icons <coughs> the one which are mentioning in the tiles format these are all tabs right these are all springboards springboard icons so here you can see something like called uh, page dots okay this page dots will help you out in terms of reporting just you can see here page control dots which will show you the complete reporting so on immediate reporting you don't need to worry at all you want to see the right now you want to see the balance sheet or right now you want to analyze uh, a particular account you want to keep a monitor on a particular account yes you can do that you want to see the balance sheet right now i don't want to spend any more i want to see that right now just click on the report and refresh it automatically you will see the report so all those things it's possible based on the page tabs okay so this is about the tabs control tabs and these are all info lights and info tiles we will see that what is in the info light and what is in the info tiles uh, within the application uh, there are also dashboards we will see all those things as well so offerings based on exports and import process how do you import it how do you export it all these things the presentation export and import for example right now today you are in the dev environment in saas also we have a dev environment pre prod and production environment in dev environment i want to move all the dev environment information to pre prod information yes this is possible all the configurations whatever you have done on the dev environment it can be pushed out to the pre prod environment from pre prod environment to prod environment also it is possible how to do all those things based on this particular export and import process okay so about the types of roles and everything uh, this is about this is this is something like additional information you will see all these things about chart of account structure and uh, these are all new features in e business app these are all the new features we will see that in our regular sessions at this point of time it is too early for you to understand all these things so that is the reason i'm skipping okay so this is about uh, enterprise role that can access a person like a uh, you know, person how to access this person part plan implementation deployment how to do the whole this things like this and now additional references if you want to know more details if you are already engaged into your oracle application or uh, into e business oracle at least if you copy this document number like 13877771 you will see more information about common implementation document white papers from some of the uh, white papers which are already provided by the oracle you will see some document details over there as well <clears throat> okay any questions guys hi this is gurjit again so yeah. i i just have one question so as i said right that i have more experience in uh, other modules than finance yes. so will you be uh, when whenever you will do this class will you make us aware with the financial terms as well or you are just concentrating on you know the oracle and the oracle setup in the cloud see we will be mainly focusing on i will show you uh, what we going to discuss in the day to day sessions and before that can you guys can you please share all your contact details so can i get a green signal from everyone i need all the contact details and as well as email address so that we can share at least the course content details so this is the course content see so you can see the excel sheet right there. so See here, you can see this many topics we will be covering. Apart from this, also we will be adding some more topics in our day-to-day -day session. A total 192 topics are there, all related to financials. This is about the GL part. This is about accounts payable. This is receivables, cash management, and fixed asset part. We will be mainly focusing on these areas. Apart from this, we will be try to cover on the fusion taxation. 
and fusion expenses but fusion expenses is not working fine but then i will try to cover that as well we'll show you how does we can do that fusion taxation also will be added so this many topics we will be covering our major goal is to concentrate upon these areas from day one onwards we will be starting about the design part and every configuration structure and everything on the front so it is so when i'm actually seeing the syllabus uh it detail it more looks like you're gonna show us um all the uh all the setups we need to get started in cloud yeah, right that's what we're gonna do from scratch level we don't use yes it yes from the scratch yeah. level yes from the scratch level see but, here yeah. create accounting calendar create yes. enable currency yes. create but value. then yeah. right but the expectation here from us is that we should already know the financial terms like you know what exactly the income statement might be or whatever i mean uh right so if we are doing something we should know why we are doing it so that we have to do it ourselves right you you are not going to help on that part or are you no i am going to help you about the reporting part also here you can see generating reports from financial reporting studio so i will show you how the reports work out okay so smart view how the report will work out and what are the benefits of the report those things i will explain you and i will create the report and i will show you the how uh, you can showcase to your management something like that that kind of level of uh, deep diving on the surface we will be doing i, I did not understand is that the question yeah shrinivas uh the question i think she is asking you is basically see if you are i guess you are an engineer mm -hmm. right uh, uh, basically the basic engineering like you know the basic programming if you want to learn java mm -hmm. you need to know what is programming means similarly she is asking what is debit credit are you going to uh, like you know somebody is not familiar with financials are you going to give them some pointers okay yeah yeah okay if you are not familiar with uh, like debit and credit and if you are not a uh, uh, a an accounting background guy definitely can help you i will start from the scratch level see we are talking about complete enterprise structure itself we will teach about the something about the accounting part also uh, i can share you something like uh, uh, documents uh, where you have to go through and you have to do yourself see today i will tell about rent account that are to cash account what is meant by rent you are paying the rent rent account you is getting debited and you are paying the cash so it is getting credited something like that i can explain you okay if you are receiving the cash okay cash it has to come into the debit side like you are receiving cash means cash will come under the debit side right. and yeah right. something like that those right. kind of checklists at the point us i will be emphasizing on it and uh, so some basic knowledge whatever it is required uh, those things which i will be focusing on that as well so okay. in our sessions in our session basically not only a particular uh, uh you know uh, an mcom guy or mba guy or a bcom guy not only those people i will be concentrating on all the people uh, i will be mainly focusing on all the people and i will be teaching you know. okay okay yes. sounds good that is i think that's what she's asking right ma'am i didn't know your name but i think gurjeet right that's what you're asking right yes exactly that's what sure, sure, sure. yeah now i got it yeah so i can teach yeah. you about those background skills as well and uh, i can share a ppt also to you like uh, uh, you just go through that ppt automatically you will understand uh, see on a day to day activities you are purchasing a laptop or you are purchasing a uh, uh, something like a, a, a tv or something like that what kind of interest it will generate if you are selling it what kind of interest it will generate if you are uh, something like uh, bad debt means that if you are uh, want to recover something else how to do that one So those things are all uh, by default. While I'm going to the session, we can focus on that and we can explain. Okay, thank you. Don't worry, I will be concentrating more because the main you can see here most of the technical people are learning the functional area means uh, we have to focus on those people as well, right? <laughs> so the main see, you can see here, right? I clearly mentioned that like, technical resources are moving to the functional. They should also know that each and everything, right? they don't know anything about debit credit sometimes they don't know anything so their goal is to whether uh, the report is de getting delivered or not <laughs> right don't worry we will focus on those people uh, on those areas as well yeah. 
Yes, guys. Uh, I hope everyone given the contact with us. Uh, Padma, can you please cross check and let me know so that we can share the course details. Hello, Padma. Yes, sir. Hope you got every contact details from each and every one, right? Can you cross check, Padma? Yeah. Prashant, do you have any questions? Hello? Prashant, do you have any questions? Uh, I spoke with all the people and uh, Srini, G.S. Srini. So, and, yeah. Uh, yeah. so this is, you said 60 day class means every night. Sorry, can you repeat that? IST morning? Yes. Hello? IST. Yes, yes. Okay, so it will be IST morning every day? Yes. Uh, you are from which, uh, which place? I mean, I'm in U.S. Okay, U.S., okay. So we, we just go with uh, seven to eight bags so that it is comfortable for everyone. So yeah, that's the agenda, yeah. Okay. Um, seven to eight is very convenient time for everyone, even for us also it is very convenient. We may not, uh, we can have a good, uh, you know, not all the students are comfortable with that, yeah. Okay. So there there is like uh, a surety that uh, uh, if you are starting the class, you will be the one who will take us through this course, right? It won't change in the middle of the course. Of no, 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 no. See, I have a total 12 plus years of experience, okay? And uh, mm -hmm. I'm a certified consultant as well. And uh, I have done with the CGL, AP, and they are all the, all the financial module certification also have done. And uh, yeah, someone is asking about the certification part, right? Uh, yeah. So I will let you know about the certification, how to you know, scale up yourself on that and how to enroll to uh, this particular certification, how to you know do all these things. Uh, I will teach you on those areas as well. Don't worry about the certification, but I can help you out in, uh, help you out in that one as well. Okay. I'm a certified consultant. My qualification is BCom, MCom, MBA, and as well as C Enter. So uh, I did masters and as well as C Enter also. So, uh, now into this oracle, I have around uh, nine plus years into this oracle only. Okay, nine plus years into this oracle platform, and I've done implementation, role of upgrades, and all all things related to the oracle part. Mm -hmm. okay. Even I've been keep on yeah. traveling. Yeah, even I've been keep on traveling. Irrespective of wherever I am and whatever the time it is, I will be taking the classes. If we agree to put the time. Even if it is midnight, one, two, it doesn't matter for me. I will be learning it and I will be taking the classes and I will take the session. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Okay. Any more questions, guys? Fine. Okay. So, Padma, I can get a confirmation, right? So, everyone shared the details of this, right? Fine. I think, yeah, you said yes. Okay, guys, have a great day and uh, we'll catch you in our next session and uh, we will, the team will postpone, uh, our team will cascade you the latest update, like when we are going to start and everything. And uh, yeah, once we announce the date, uh, from that point of time, everyone uh, can join and uh, they can take decisions. Okay. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Any questions or something, you can just post to the uh, team and uh, they can come back to me. If you don't, if, you, if you're not able to ask a question from here, you can just click or you can just send them. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. G. Srini, uh, G. S. Srini, can you please share your contact details and contact number? Contact details like uh, email address and as well as contact number. G. Srini. Hello? G. Shri. Hello? So if you, hello? Yeah, I already done that. Oh, okay, good, good. 
so if you have any questions or something like that you can just go through this uh, uh, our website this is our www.eclipseit.com this is our website and this is our contact number 8125323232 okay this is an indian number and this is our website you can go there and you can just uh, whatever the details you can see that from the site as well okay thank you guys thank you so much for your time and uh, we'll catch you in our next session bye guys yeah.